spotter discussions continue in Durham. The gun detection technology is still on the table for city leaders. Anthony Wilson is live at the Rotary Club meeting getting underway within the hour. Anthony? John and Anna, as you know, boosters say that shot spotter can help fight crime here in Durham, help the police, that is. And some people disagree with that. These Rotary Club members you see behind us, some of the business and civic leaders, are going to hear at least one side of the debate that's been going on in the community here today. Now, some see ShotSpotter as a tool that could make the streets of Durham safer. As the manufacturer says, sensors could detect gunshots in real time and then alert officers who could reach a scene faster than they would while responding to a 911 call. But critics say that technology does raise some privacy concerns. Back in September, Durham City Council approved a one-year-long contract for the program. The price tag nearly $200,000. The Shot Spotter program is expected to launch sometime next month and we're told it will cover East and Southeast Durham. Now, Police Chief Patrice Andrews will address the Rotary Club here within the hour. We hope to get an update about when that actually might get launched, John and Anna. We'll let you know online and on the air.